Hi everyone, it's Dolly and welcome to the Paper Plumeria. I hope you guys are having a great week so far. So today I have an accumulative thrift haul that I wanted to share on Thrifty Thursday. So happy Thrifty Thursday everyone. And if you don't know what Thrifty Thursday is, it is an open collaboration which uh, is hosted by Sherry over at Turquoise Dreaming. So um, if you guys have something to share on Thrifty Thursday, make sure you remember to tag Sherry in your video so that she knows and she can possibly share with others. Okay, you guys, so um, I have visited this past weekend a couple of thrift stores and I wanna share with you my finds and I feel like it's it's a pretty good size haul because this was more than um, one thrift store. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the miscellaneous, the smaller pieces that I found. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these out. So I did find a few vintage pieces and I was quite happy with these um, only because I love using these kinds of things in junk journals. So the first thing that I found you guys was this bag of buttons and I have to say there is no price tag on here only because I found these buttons separately. These with the still on the tags and these I believe were like 50 cents each. This says 10 but it was not 10 cents. So all of these little vintage goodies were about 50 cents each. Okay, so these are all the cute buttons, vintage looking buttons. Look at these, aren't these so pretty? I love that blue color. So those were all the uh, buttons that I found. These buttons, these loose buttons actually came from my mom's house. My mom gave these to me, so I just kind of dumped them in this bag along with these um, buttons. So I know you guys have seen many of these being picked up at thrift stores. Uh, I do like the sizes of these buttons because I like to use them in projects. So this is a heart one. Yeah, I don't want to um, take too long in this video as I know it's probably gonna be a little bit longer because of uh, all that I have to share. So those were the buttons. And then these I found for this bag was $1.99. And I know I don't need any more thread, but that is not the reason why I bought this bag. I purchased this bag because all of these bobbins are made out of wood and I just love these. They are so, so cute. So I figure I could always reuse these to wrap thin lace around if I'm gifting them to friends or, you know, um, if I just want to use them as a decorative piece. But all of these, all of them are made out of wood and look at how cute. Um, this one has right here, 275 yards, size 50, but um, it's marked. It's uh, used to be 40 cents. So I just think these are just the neatest things. Yeah, this is wood also. It's just got a, a sticker on it. I can easily peel that off. Okay, so that these were the threads that I purchased. And then we got this bag right here, and um, this one was $1.95. But these are just trims and also seam binding, I believe. There's some seam binding in here. Yeah, here it is. So that's a really pretty color. It's gold. I've got some lace, some more trim right here. Some. This is really different. Okay, I don't know what this is. This looks like some kind of um, velvet trim. And then more of the Rick Rack seam binding. A lot of pieces in here for $1.95. So I had to pick that up because, you know, you never know if you're going to need a certain color and it's good to have a variety. Okay, so that right there. $1.95. You guys, this is the reason why I love thrift shopping so much, especially if you're into crafting, because, you know, I I could easily leave Michael's or Joann's or where, wherever spending $50 and having a small bag 
uh, out the door with me whereas I leave a thrift store and honestly I spend twenty dollars and I've got bags <laughs> with me when I leave so it's always a great feeling to be able to save um, okay so then I found this you guys and oh my goodness I didn't know what it was at first I thought they were coasters but then I took a closer look and this is um, these are fat quarters and they've just made it so that it looks like a pretty stack of stars um, and it used to be twenty dollars and ninety nine cents for this stack of fabric and you've got one two three four five six seven eight pieces in here and you guys it was three ninety five and so look at what you get here I'm gonna go ahead and open this so that you can see the different um, colors or designs and I think these would make fabulous journal covers sorry you guys they really knotted this one up really well but I wanted you guys to see all of the individual fabrics that came in this stack so here is the first one and look at how nicely they folded these isn't that a pretty pattern Here's the next one. This would be great for a Christmas journal. I think all of these are Christmas. I mean, you can use this in something other than a Christmas themed journal, but they are really pretty. For example, this one you could use in a shabby chic journal. Same with this one. It's just floral, so there's no poinsettias or anything on them. And I love the green. And then you guys look at this one that is gorgeous so not bad for $3.95 and again these are all each fat quarters so put those right back okay. I do have one more piece it's seam binding but I had to get this because you guys look at the color really really pretty now this one was two dollars and fifty cents but you get quite a bit in there and I just love the color of this so I had to grab that okay let's see all right so then I also found two frames and oh my gosh isn't this frame gorgeous um, I, I want to say this was around two dollars something like that but it is porcelain and look I'm sorry about the glare uh, look at how pretty this is the design of this there's there's a dove on here and then there's roses it's just really really pretty okay and then look at this one this one is just like a mint green color and it's also gorgeous um try not to get the glare so that you guys can see the design better and this one is by hallmark so um i want to say this one uh was either a dollar fifty or two dollars so i thought those were really really pretty okay you guys let's see all right i'm gonna clear this because i want to show you some of the vintage wrapping paper that i purchased okay so i'm gonna show you the books that i found before the vintage wrapping paper that i mentioned i'll share those last so I did manage to find just a few books and the first book that I found was not a vintage book but rather a golden book and it's Peter Pan and it looks brand new. Um, I do love anything Disney so this was a great addition to my golden books collection. I do have a Peter Pan book for some reason though I feel it had a different cover but this would make for a great junk journal I feel. Okay, so let's go ahead and go through the vintage books that I found. And this one is called Our Recipe for Friendship. I can guarantee that this is vintage. It's just that the cover looks so new and just glossy. So it makes me question if it is vintage or not. Although the prints of this book look very vintage to me. Um, the one thing I could not find on this book was a date, a copyright date. There, I looked at it inside and out and I could not find a date but look at how cute each of these pages are see as you can see there's nothing nothing written on even the first page
pages except for this. It does say written by Roberta Stoll Tracy, illustrated by Guntra Gondins. But other than that, it's just got the illustrations and writing for the book and nothing else. But I would love to scan copies of each of these pages just to have and keep. All right, so this one right here is a Singer Sewing Machine Instructions Booklet. And um, let me see, let's see if we can find a date on this one. It says 1970 by the Singer Company. But look, there's there's these cute pictures or illustrations in here, but I, um, I love the fact that it has a lot of pinks, so it would go really well in a uh, junk journal maybe that's shabby chic themed and sewing themed but oh look at that okay so i did not see that looks like some vintage cards or tags very cute i don't know how vintage they are but they look really cute oh my gosh you guys bonus bonus it's a Valentine's. It's a vintage Valentine cards. This brings back so many memories of grade school. These are what our Valentine cards look like. It says, Valentine, you're a honey. Please be mine. How cute is that? And it even comes with an envelope, you guys. Wow. I just, so nostalgic to me because these were the types of Valentine's cards that we would bring into class and share with everyone. All right, so this one, Humpty Dumpty's Bedtime Stories, and this one looks pretty old. Let's see if we can find a date. This one says 1971, and let's just flip through it really quick. So the pages are just mostly in the orange and white or orange and beige but there's some cute illustrations for sure again that's Humpty Dumpty's bedtime stories okay and then the last book that I found oh my gosh look you guys it's a better homes and gardens a new garden book and it's in great shape I mean I did wipe it down a little because there was a little bit of dirt to it but it was uh easy to clean off nothing that a little bit of soapy water couldn't remove but look how vintage these pages are really really old look at the patina on the edges of the pages but really really nice and um don't know exactly what i'm going to do with this but I think it would make for a great journal as well. So, oh, look at it. How pretty. This does look very 70s. Look at all that. That's really pretty. So I'm not going to flip through every single page, but I just kind of wanted you to see what's all included in this book. A lot of really neat... Um, photographs. I just love the color of the pages though, you guys. Really, really nice. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside because I need room on the table to show you what I'm really excited about. Okay, you guys, here are the wrapping papers that I was telling you about, and I feel like most of these are vintage, if not all. Look how pretty this floral is. Here's another one. This is really pretty. It's floral. And then I have this, which looks like Christmas tags. And then this one. I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. And then this one, this is really pretty. And then that one, this is really pretty. And look at how vintage this one looks. This is gorgeous. It's just umbrellas. And I love the color of this. It's really pretty. And this one, look at that, that one's pretty, it's got the duck. Okay, and then this one is just plain, it just says congratulations, 
This one says for your shower. Doesn't this look so 1970s? And it's so uh, neon looking. And this one. And these cute teddy bears and ducks. <laughs> This is for a baby shower. I just thought that was so cute. Got some wedding paper. Some more of that green shower paper. And look how pretty this is. It's gorgeous. Just some plain paper. And this is so adorable. It's a baby shower or baby gift wrapping paper. Very vintage. And just this floral wrapping paper. That's pretty. Some more of the baby wrapping paper. And then a wedding. Wedding themed. That's really pretty. And then some Christmas wrapping paper. Oh my gosh. Why does this look so familiar to me? It's as if I've seen this print. Maybe, who knows? Maybe my mom had this print when I was growing up. But it sure does look familiar. It's so cute. And then we have this, which looks like carnations. Really pretty. I think I showed you this one already. It was, it's a second one. And then just this happy birthday one. Nothing special. And then this with the dinosaurs. It's a children's wrapper. This one does not look vintage. And this one looks pretty vintage, I guess. And then look at this. Atlas. It's got um, photos of... The World Atlas. Happy birthday. Some more floral. Some more happy birthday. Some more of the ones with the ducks. And look at this one. This is really pretty. It's a wedding wrapper. And then some more of this vintage wedding wrapper. I absolutely love this one. This is just so cute. Look at the couple. How cute. It says Mr. and Mrs. It's got the cake. Some more of this one. This looks like a very masculine wrapper. And then Valentine's Day. Just hearts. And then one with paisley print. And then a cute one with little bears. How cute. And then, oh, you guys, how adorable is this one? It's got little bunny rabbits cute. It's got kittens. So adorable. And then we've got a pack of Christmas wrap and they look pretty vintage. Maybe not so vintage. I would imagine around the 70s. All right, you guys, that is my haul with all of my vintage wraps and uh, my book finds and all of my other goodies. I hope you guys enjoyed this thrift haul and I'm wishing you all a wonderful week ahead. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.